First off, you know, thanks for, you know, carving out some time to uh, speak with Movers and Shakers Unlimited. Um, I'll start first, so, you know, getting involved with the project and how, how that uh, process came to be. Yeah, it was actually kind of a, a unique experience uh, because I had met with Lisa over Zoom in the thick of the pandemic and uh, had a pretty course, great conversation yeah. with her. Yeah, right. It was just always the best way to meet anyone. Um, no, and we had this really great conversation. I thought it went really well. And I, I, at, the, at the last second, right before we hung up, I was like, oh, and by the way, if you want me to read for it, I will. Because uh, that didn't seem like it was going to have to happen. She just wanted to have conversations with actors. And she was like, oh, okay, yeah, maybe maybe I'll take you up on that. And I was like, okay, great. And then I, I auditioned for it and uh, I kind of had a fun spin on it. It was one of the bedroom scenes. So I actually shot the audition uh, in my bed, which was sort of an unusual place to shoot an audition and I ended up getting the role. And afterwards I started having a conversation with Lisa and she was like, you know, based off of our conversation, I actually wasn't going to hire you, um, but thank God you read for it because it worked. Oh, uh, well, you know that you were the perfect in this conversation with you right now. So uh, it all worked out the way it was meant to. And, and was, for sure, yeah, for sure. Was and I was talking to uh, I was talking to Giannis about this uh, just a moment ago, actually, and and uh, how sometimes it's not always commonplace to work with a filmmaker who also happens to write the story. A lot of times, you have you know people. Uh, uh, honed in on specific roles. And so, you know, you have maybe the, the director come in first and, the, and you know, the, the draft comes in after or the draft comes in first and you already have a story and you, you have a director come in to, you know, right. uh, uh, um, bring their voice to it in some capacity yet still tell the story. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, would you say in cases cases in which you have someone who's playing both of those carrying both of those hats if you will makes it easier for you as an actor because you know you're not necessarily you know speaking to two separate parties you're you have yeah. both of them in essence there at the same time yeah i think uh it's it can be a huge benefit to have someone who's written a story because they know the story like the back of their hand and every single detail of it is is already you know fleshed out in their mind at the same time depending on the ego involved it can get kind of ugly because there's the possessive nature that comes with that there's like a sense of yeah, like, no improvisation yeah you kind of become a little bit of a control freak i'm so lucky that lisa was not that way lisa's is couldn't be more generous with her collaboration and wanting to, you know, let me take liberties. The character is loosely based off of a real life person and a person that she had a relationship with. So I was definitely curious about that relationship that they had and how much of it was, was accurate to our story. And then, and then it became a conversation of like, no, screw that. Let's make it, let's make John who, who he is to you, Colin. And I think that's like what makes it, what makes that type of collaboration awesome because you're taking something that's personal from someone and then you're allowing yourself to bring your own artistic liberty to to the character um but i'm i'm just happy she was she was not that type of control freak um i do think there are some huge benefits to getting to work with because of the, you're basically an auteur when you're when you're the writer director i mean like the whole thing is kind of you know not only coming from your mind but it's also make or break on your shoulders so you have a lot of responsibility um but i'm, I'm glad that she uh she trusts her actors and she lets us make those choices too cool cool and and you know in speaking of of you know having that openness to to be able to improvise you know if mm. you will um you know are you able to share obviously I, you know i don't want to give anything away you know I, I had a chance to see the film but you know were there instances where uh you would say percentage wise that some of those things, those choices, you know, bold choices that you made um, yeah. and having that ability to kind of play, if you will, you know, yeah. made the cut. Absolutely. A lot of it, most of it made the cut because I mean, Lisa's incredible. She's so smart. She wrote this film in French first and foremost. And then yeah. instead of hiring someone to convert it to English, she decided to do that. 
And it was kind of remarkable to see, like, just first of all, how well she, you know, she speaks English, but on top of that, how she was able to completely write an entire script in English uh, based off of her French transcript prior. I also knew that she, she, she was, she would willingly admit this too. She's like, there's total grammatical errors in here. Like, whatever is not American, you just change it, make it American, because that's why I've hired an American. She didn't want to hire a Brit. She didn't want to hire anyone, a French person to speak in an American accent. She wanted a true, genuine American to play this role because you need those innuendos and those, those nuances. So I think she, uh, she entrusted a lot on me. So from the get go, I kind of had to take those liberties and have fun. But that being said, Sophie is, you know, she's a French speaking actress uh, who's done some English roles, but for her, this was a, this was a tall task. She had to improvise in English and she wanted to stick with the script because that's what she had learned. So we had to kind of meet in the middle and eventually by the end, I mean, we, she and I were spitballing in English left and right. We were like, we almost like, we're like, what script? Let's just, <laughs> let's just make it all up ourselves. So yeah, it was, it was cool to see. And then it's also really cool to see when, what makes the cut and you're like, oh, cool. That, that got a laugh and that came from here. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's a good feeling. All right, awesome. Well, Colin, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate you calling out some time uh, talking about um, our America. Brandon, you're the man. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Cheers. Take care. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.